<laughs> we're not too bad yourself. Okay. Uh, we're gonna take a quick break. Thank you. Hello, dear friends. Hey guys, that was really hot. <laughs> Hello, dear friends. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the Majestic Family Channel. Uh huh. My name is Jory, and this is my lovely wife, Viname Orvi. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and comment down below so you can stay in touch. Don't forget to like, share, turn on your notification bell so, so you know when a new video comes, comes out. out. Thank you. Today, Today, we are doing how to find a godly man. Or, if you're a, a man looking for a uman, uman. <laughs> how to find a godly woman. Yes. Okay. This question was posed to us by one of our viewers. So I'm guessing yes. this is a, she's a subscriber. If not, girl, get your life. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And we know that um, because we do talk about relationships, some mm -hmm. you guys do get um, interested in those topics. And you'll even, some of you have even said, hook us up. <laughs> so, so while we're not a dating site, no, but we um, can be. No, I'm just we, kidding. <laughs> we can offer some information or advice from our own experience. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, we don't know everything. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I heard it said that when it comes to knowledge, what we know is like a five cent piece in the bottom of a five gallon bucket. <laughs> the absolute best and surefire way to find a godly man is to. Do you think there is a specific place or personality trait or characteristic or In or a woman has to have to find a godly man? Uh, no, it, I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't think there's a certain, no, like one specific thing you have to do because all women are so different. There's mm -hmm. not, they're not all going to be the same. <laughs> so you as a godly yes. man. Oh, well, thank you. Okay, big up yourself. Uh, what were you looking for? Okay. <laughs> you, I mean, you said godly, but you also said man. Let's not forget. I know. That I know. we are still men. I know it. Attracted to. I know it. Woman. Okay, so man. Okay. So are you saying there's not a distinction between being a man and a godly man there is you, said you play it. by different rules if you oh. if you claim to know god mm -hmm. then you claim to live by his word Got it. so i mean a man of the word is a man of god a man of god is a man of the word so scripture is your guidebook mm -hmm. um what you should be shooting for is becoming more like messiah yeshua like jesus mm -hmm. and so if a man is doing that he will probably want to be with a woman of similar you know belief mm -hmm. um yeah so if you're looking for a godly man chances are you're a godly woman absolutely so yes. it's not wise to be a non-believer with a believer that's yeah. tough if you want a person that is godly and a person after god's heart mm -hmm. it should be something that you are also working towards too yeah, like that you should be growing in as yeah. well yeah um but does it mean if, say for instance, because when I met you, you mm -hmm. were like beyond what I've experienced with the Lord. Okay. But you didn't look down on me or go, mm, that's just not going to be, we're not going to be yoked because I'm right. here and she's like. Yeah, I don't think I saw it that way. I don't okay. think I saw it as I'm so spiritual and she's not. I don't, okay. I don't think I ever saw How it. did you see it? Like since I was a young boy, I grew up with scripture and in church and hearing about the word of God and mm -hmm. and so and then I went off to Bible school for a few years and so like I just had a lot in me mm -hmm. as far as the word of God and knowledge about you know those things mm -hmm. I think it just came out I don't think I don't think I ever thought of myself as like more than someone else in fact when I was in Bible school it was like people would say are you gonna be a pastor are you gonna be this what are you gonna do and I was always like no no <laughs> he has no I, I, I love God I'm just like seeking him you know yeah. and and I, I do believe he's going to use me in the earth. And that's a conversation that I've had with him a lot. But, like, as to exactly what kind of title or whatever, that's not important to me. Mm -hmm. So, no, like, I guess for me, it wasn't like, I'm godly and spiritual and you need to be godly and spiritual. But, okay. I that's, think we connected right. on, like, values. Like, values, family. That's right. Like, God. Mm -hmm. Those were huge values. To the us. fact that you were a believer in Messiah mm -hmm. and that you wanted... You know certain things with family and your values and your morals mm -hmm. all lined up with mine yeah i think that was most important 
I never looked at it as levels. Like I was godlier than you or you were godlier mm -hmm. than me. So. so like then that leads me to my next question. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> is this you, Q and A? Yes. <laughs> What is your idea as a man uh -huh. uh, when someone says he's a godly man? What comes to mind? Godly man. Yeah. Okay, so I think of like self-sacrificing. Uh -huh. Someone who leads from a place of service. Yeah. Where like um, your goal is to serve your family, is to serve the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, a humble person. Mm -hmm. Someone who's in the word. Mm -hmm. um, that submits themselves to the word and yeah. to the Lord. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's what I think of godly. So godly doesn't just mean someone who can state scripture and memorize scripture and no. say it because even the devil knows the word of God. Right? right. No, it's it's definitely not. It's definitely not like showy to me. It's yes. not a position. It's not uh -huh. you know I'm I'm graduating from you know apostle to bishop or you know. <laughs> I, I'm that, sorry. I'm, but I mean, like to me. Um, it gets me all the time. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, so to me, a, a godly man is someone who, who just in any situation has integrity, has, you yeah. know, does what God would want them to do. Mm -hmm. um, someone who doesn't seek praise or honor, but just. Not acts. that they don't struggle with those things. Like right. Everyone just as a human right. being. We have, we yeah. have things to overcome and I'm right. not saying I'm perfect at all. Right. Please. Uh -huh. No, I have my struggles too. Mm -hmm. But like someone who's humble before God, like even David, you think of yeah. what made David a man after God's heart. Mm -hmm. And I think it was that he was humble enough yeah. when he saw his wrong, he confessed it and yeah. humbled himself before God right. and and wanted to do better, yeah. you know, and that's that's the difference between someone living in a perpetual sin cycle right. and someone who, when they mess up, they truly are hu hum humble, not yeah. humiliated, but humble about it, yeah. and confess it and want to move on. Like God, you're right, that was wrong. Mm -hmm. I I don't want to live this way. Repentance, and, yeah, and repentance. that just means yeah. changing your mind, turning around instead yeah. of going the way you used to go churn and go the opposite way yeah. um, towards obviously the will of God but um, I think a godly man mm -hmm. is a man that doesn't lead by lording over I think he leads by laying down his life laying down his rights yeah. by serving by by doing the hard thing you know like reading the word consistently and praying mm -hmm. consistently and I don't think we get to label ourselves a godly man <laughs> other people get to uh, do that I think only God knows if we're godly yeah but we may appear godly to people but God can, God also say they'll know us, they'll know them by their fruit, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So that's kind of the answer to hopefully our subscribers question is that you have to look at the fruit yeah. in the person's life. Yeah. What are, are the other people saying about him or her? Right. That is indicative of who a person is. I believe. Yeah. Um, it has to be people that are close enough to know. To know you. Know? you. Yeah. Because some not folks gonna, are good at a facade. Well, they're not going to know your deepest secrets, but like... They know how you treat people. Right. Yeah. A lemon tree isn't going to grow, you know, an apple tree. An apple, I mean. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, it just isn't. Mm -hmm. So someone who's loving will, um, will express... They'll have the fruit of love, right. whether it be giving, being kind to people, right. that's are true. you patient? That's uh, true. So that's how you can find a godly man. That's I how believe. you can recognize. You can recognize, yeah. right? But how you find them is what would you say? The absolute best and surefire way to find a godly man is to talk to the one who defines whether we're godly or not. Yeah. So, Biname and I both. Uh, from very early on, mm -hmm. we're praying for the right person. Mm -hmm. um, and so that is the best way. Mm -hmm. I know it sounds cliche, but 100% guys, mm -hmm. this is the best way to find a godly spouse. Mm -hmm. If you're a man, for you to find a woman, and if you're a woman, for you to find a man. Mm -hmm. And marriage and marriage was God's idea. It's mm -hmm. his design. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of people get into it that don't understand that now. It's just become commonplace to just get married. Ugh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, and it's not something you should jump into if you don't understand what it is. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, God, because he designed marriage, he said it was not good for man to be alone. Mm -hmm. um, and so 
he's the one that can help you um, in his timing to find the right spouse. And um, yeah, I, we both prayed for our spouse when we were young mm -hmm. and uh, younger. I yeah. was I was in my late teens, early um, adulthood mm -hmm. because I mean I met him when I was nineteen. Yeah, so. I had been praying long before that. And my parents actually prayed, prayed for my spouse well. too. Yeah, and don't. I know there's a movement going on with something called manifesting saying the right stuff in your okay. so-called husband would appear yeah like that's not godly that's not how god works it's important to understand that we don't have any magical powers no. to create anything no that it's god it's god who who alone does miracles who yeah. does mm -hmm. wondrous things and so we can ask him for those things but to say I manifested this or I yeah. made this happen uh, is taking is taking the credit away from God, and so you don't want to be in a place where you're uttering incantations to create some spouse because that's not a good way to start. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, that's that's a point I wanted to hit on. Also, that um, when you are talking to God about your spouse, your future spouse. Um, don't focus too much on it. I know it's hard, especially if you're really longing for that. <laughs> right. Like, it's don't all you focus can think on about. it. Yeah. yeah. Um, because, Do your best to lay it before him. Like, and then just walk put away. Put it in his time. And that's easier said than done. I know. <laughs> Truly have a relationship with God. Yeah. Don't just have a relationship with him so until he get, gives you, yeah. or so you can get a right. you know husband. Then you are nowhere right. to be found. Try and focus and grow in your relationship with God and mm -hmm. serving him and mm -hmm. um, uh, advancing his kingdom by yeah. spreading the word of God. And like I said, if it's your intention to get married, he knows that and mm -hmm. he will grant you the, those desires. Right. Um, but until then, focus on you and better in yourself, you know, through prayer and the word of God. That's right. I think like what happened to you, you, you got to the point where you told God, I'm not even going to look. I'm just going to trust you. And then like, not, right. not long after not that, long after, we met each other. Yeah, yeah, like, well, you met me. You saw me. Let's That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, well, yeah. says a man finds a wife. I found you. Yeah, it's right. <laughs> With God's help. <laughs> so yeah. I remember just feeling this pressure and then just saying, you know what, God, I'm just going to focus on school. I'm mm -hmm. not going to look for anybody. And I wasn't. I would, really was not looking mm -hmm. for anybody. Like, I would literally <laughs> purposely go to class, like, early and sit up front so I wouldn't see what was going on uh, going on around me mm -hmm. or behind me. And um, But I did know all along he was watching. <laughs> he was watching me. So, yeah, that's kind of the advice we could give. Mm -hmm. Marriage advice is for the married. Yeah. That's basically what it is. Yeah. Um, there you go. That's well put, babe. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. If you've if you've chosen and dedicated yourself to marriage and to this thing that God made, it's a beautiful thing for family to be created. Mm -hmm. Then you know you should have all the help you can get because mm -hmm. it's not simple. It's not easy, but it's good. Yeah. Um, and we don't want to throw out advice just right. randomly. Mm -hmm to those who don't want to commit to what God has created as a beautiful thing. Right. And so, you know, it, I know it's a hard world, world and it's a broken world and that things don't always go perfectly, mm -hmm. but God's God's plan for man and woman is um, marriage and mm -hmm. is this, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife mm -hmm. and they'll become one flesh. And so that's what we, you know, we have chosen and that's what we believe is the right choice yeah and so our, we want our marriage advice to be for the married for the married yeah <laughs> and so like if anybody asks for advice or whatever we're i mean we're thinking about doing something we still have to talk about it mm -hmm. just doing stuff on how we can bless the married um yeah we don't want to give advice to unmarried to help strengthen what's not the will of god right yeah. hopefully we answered your question and hopefully you're a subscriber girl <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us for this chat. Hope you enjoy when we talk about relationships like this. We got more great content like this coming. Mm -hmm. And until next time, keep, keep looking, looking up. up. She's just stressed Sorry. out a little. Hi. I'm gonna put Hi. my baby. Oh.